All right, here we go. I'm not looking forward to this. That was a receipt that to this day, Gene still reminds me of each and every time I see him. Hey guys, Maven here, former WWE superstar. And today we're gonna talk about what a receipt is. And you're gonna see the worst receipt I ever got. Now, what we do is not ballet. And occasionally when you pop someone, they're gonna pop you back. That's what a receipt is. So today's receipt comes from Survivor Series 2004. And it was Gene Snitsky. And Gene it was your fault. Now, a lot of the superstars involved in your match tonight. Do you really think you have a chance in this match? I don't like it, the fact that Coachman had absolutely no, no faith in the fact that I should be in this match. I'm going to show him exactly how I feel. Run raw? I mean, maybe. Come on. Even you would have to admit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Admit, admit what? Admit what? Yeah. Admit what, Coach? If you don't think that I belong in the main event, then I'm going to have to give you a personal demonstration. A little oh! All right, so right there. So you see the boot that he gave me to the side of the head. You're going to notice the camera's going to pan away. Now, what happens when that camera pans away? Not obviously, nothing to do with Snitsky, but I had to get what's called color. Now, if you don't know what color means, you're bleeding. It's very simple to get color. You take your gig, your blade, and you punch it into your forehead and twist. When you twist that blade, the capillaries is gonna, are gonna open up and normally you're gonna just start bleeding profusely. I <laughs> was not, let's just say, used to getting my own color. They knew I wasn't used to getting my own color. So I did what the biggest no-no in the business was and I let someone else get color for me. I let Fit Finley blade me. I probably should have said no. I liked my job. I wanted to show that I was a team player. So I agreed to it. I still carry the scar of that blade job to this day. Right now, as the camera's on Snitsky, and that ugly mug of his, Fit Finley has come and he's kneeling over me right now. He is getting the color. And when we come back. Now we did that backstage segment because they wanted me to have a grand entrance into the match. My portion of the match was small for that night. I think it was a uh, four on four, you know, team versus team. And at the time I was on team with Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, and Chris Benoit. My portion of the match was going to be towards the tail end. They needed a reason for me to have a grand entrance. Snitsky's backstage, that was giving me that reason. So the match is going on during Survivor Series right now, and I'm backstage behind Gorilla Position. Now what Gorilla Position is, that's the, the curtain where all wrestlers sit and wait. Usually you're waiting for your entrance music. Now, what most people don't know is behind Gorilla, you're gonna have Vince McMahon, you're gonna have your agents, you're gonna have your timekeepers, you're gonna have everyone who behind the scenes makes sure that these matches go true to form. So a lot of stuff's going on behind gorilla position. I'm waiting back here right now for my cue to come out. And here we come. As I enter the ring, I obviously, you know, I hear the pop. And I'm still staggering because, you know, I'm still feeling the effects of that kick. And they wouldn't let me cut the blood off. Now, here we got a little bit of a hot tag. Now, I probably caught Snitsky right there. I was probably a little too amped when I came out. And I remember that first punch, that first flipper did catch him. But again, what we do is not ballet. Snitsky's not mad about that. What he's gonna get mad, <laughs> mad about and what I'm gonna get a receipt for, it's coming. I duck the clothesline and here's where I hit him with a nice flipper. I told you earlier, a receipt has two parts on it. One, the first part is you have to hit somebody in order to earn a receipt. I just hit him with a flying forearm and broke his orbital bone above his eye and gave him probably about a three inch gash over his eye that he still carries to this day. After I hit him with that flipper, it you know, knocked him loopy and you know he was uh, unaware of where we were in the match. And to his credit, you know, you know he bounced back. I've had concussions discussions before during matches where it's almost like I wake up and you know I don't even you know, know what day it is much less that I'm in a wrestling match or what I'm supposed to do or what the next spot is. Snitsky acted like a pro here. 100% I messed up. I shouldn't have hit him that hard. Shouldn't have gave him a concussion. I certainly shouldn't have broke his orbital but you know he reacted the way he should have. 
I toss him out, and as you can see, you know, Snitsky's a good athlete. The fact that he went through the ropes like that just shows that he didn't know what was going on. Edge gets thrown out, and Edge is over there on the side helping him, telling him where to go. He's guiding him over, telling him to get the chair. Now there's a bulldog. If you see it, you see my eyes kind of glare over to my left. Cause right now Snitsky's supposed to be in the ring hitting me with a chair. He's not there, my fault. I knocked him loopy and I'm waiting for him to get that chair right now. And you know, <laughs> I'm about to get my receipt. Ugh. You know, house of fire. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm not looking forward to this. Ouch. That does not feel good. <laughs> Could have hit me a lot harder than he did. He laid that chair shot in and again, now this was umpteen years ago, the business is different. And what we know about concussions now, as opposed to what we knew about them then, I don't condone chair shots. However, that's how you took chair shots back then. Plain and simple. Snitsky probably should have hit me a lot harder. That was, you know, a receipt that I earned. That was a receipt that to this day, Gene still reminds me of each and every time I see him. <laughs> Gene, if you're watching, I'm sorry, brother. Here we go. Right there, receipt. I roll out, the match continues. I get escorted back, I'm selling the whole way back. The moment I got through Gorilla, Vince met me immediately. And let's just say he was not happy and rightfully so thought I didn't take care of Gene. And obviously, you know, I didn't certainly love Gene. I would never want to hurt him intentionally. But, you know, the fact of the matter, and I have to own my baggage, I was careless with busting his eye open. So Vince immediately told me, make sure you go and find Gene. By this time, Gene was already with medical. So as soon as I got around Gorilla, as soon as, you know, Vince laid into me, I immediately went to medical to, to find Gene and make sure he was okay. Now, there's one of two ways that, that you can handle that. A, you can get mad and you can be irate when somebody does something that accidentally hurts you in the ring. Or B, you can handle it the way Gene did. He looked at me, he hugged me, he understood I didn't do it intentionally or on purpose. And you know, almost 20 years later, it's still something that we laugh about and he still brings up every time I see him. <laughs> so now we know what a receipt is, but the true question is, how much did I get paid to take that chair shot? <laughs> Find out by clicking right here.